Hey there, Scorpio. Chronic Joy Tarot. Happy May. This is going to be your guidance reading for the month of May. And um, these cards, of course, have all been shuffled off camera. So they're nice and ready for you. I'm ready to receive the guidance here for you. Um, I hope you had a good April and that things moved along well for you. I feel like the energies in May are really sort of rising even higher. So there's a lot of expansion happening. What I've done here was pulled one card from um, an Oracle deck to give us sort of a guidance as to a topic for this month's reading. And then I'm doing a reading from the Zen Tarot deck as well. So here's the Oracle deck we're reading from. It's Saints and Angels by Doreen Virtue. That will be this guidance card. And then we'll do an in-depth reading on this topic using the Osho Zen Tarot deck, my favorite deck. Um, if you watch my channel at all, you'll see I use this deck all the time. Okay, Scorpio, what do we have for this month for you? I pulled this card called Emotions. Nice, because I think if there's any sign that, uh, you know, touches down and, and works from an emotional standpoint, it's the Scorpio, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, the water signs are usually um, more emotionally driven. And as a Scorpio, your emotions run very deep. So this is a good starting point. The reading that we're doing, it's kind of a, the spread looks funny, usually it's more spread out, but I don't have a lot of space here, um, is called The Flying Bird. And we have basically the point of liftoff here, and then we take flight and move back and forth through the cards to come to our um, point of, you know, our new awareness or our insight. Um, so this is going to be basically the journey you're going to have this month of May, or the potential journey, if you take note of the reading. So considering that we're going to tend to our emotions this month a little more, Scorpio, let's see where you're starting. Okay, this card is compromise. Now, this doesn't mean you have to make compromises everywhere. It depends on where this card comes up in a reading. Um, for me, for this starting point, what I'm going to say for you, Scorpio, is that you're guided to unapologetically be yourself this month. Don't make compromises. Don't... Um, I don't mean get in arguments and battles over points, but don't compromise who you are in order to guide and move through your life. And if you follow your emotional guidance, you, this, you will succeed at this. You'll be fine. Um, your emotions are rooted in the core of who you are, and they're sort of your little guideposts. You know, if you're feeling, if you come upon somebody and you get a good vibe from them and it feels really good to talk to them, you know, go with it. If you come upon somebody that kind of, you know, makes you feel a little more closed off and you, you're not sure, don't go for it. You know, don't, don't engage in a conversation, you know, for too long if it, if it continues to not feel good. So be guided by your emotions and trust it and just be your true self this month. The position of this card is called fear of flying. It means that it could end up being a block to your progress if we don't master this position. This is also an, a hidden energy, so an underlying energy that maybe you don't show everybody. And that's this card called morality. Interesting. So if you um, view things in your life as either right or wrong, good or bad, you know, yes or no, um, there's only, you know, there's only good and there's only bad and there's nothing in between, you might have a hard time this month because as we know your emotions they don't follow this they don't they don't have rules emotions are um not there to be judged not there to to be put in a category they're just there they're flowing they're within you they guide you and so if you get yourself stuck thinking oh that's bad that's wrong and then turn away because of that energy you could end up stalling your progress your um, the morality card is a mind card and what you want to work on is more of heart-centered emotional 
progress and guidance. So, and um, let's see. So this card is the external um, sort of what shows up with the combination of these cards. So be yourself. Um, try not to be so judgmental either onto yourself or onto others. And you might find that you have a new way, a more imaginative way of um, progressing through your month. The creativity card is pulled there. So it's guiding you to go ahead for, um, you know, a little more openness, a little more, um, not reactivity, but a little more kind of going with the flow of what comes at you this month. Go ahead and, and let your feelings guide you through it instead of your mind and, and what's, what goes on in your mind. If you can master this, you can release a lot of underlying or hidden emotions and um, thoughts that may be suppressed within you. So um, that's a heavy card. That's a heavy card. And this is also on the internal sort of, um, um, you know, the feminine receptive side, the passive side, the, the um, you know, not taking action, but just what's inside of you. And you're cautioned to not hold too much in. Um, you don't have to, you know, blast yourself, you know, all over the place, but don't hold too much in it's with yourself, with loved ones. Um, make sure that you check in with yourself and maybe even, um, step up your either meditative or prayer practice or, um, time in nature or journaling so that you're not holding too many emotions in. Okay, this card's not making me happy right now. So that you're not holding too much in, okay? Let's try to work on, on releasing. And of course, your emotions can guide you in there. Okay, the next step along the way is this card called the lovers. So what this card is meaning to me in this position is not literally um, to do with your lover or your partner or whatever, but it's telling me to reach for the highest form of love, which is compassion this month. Um, letting your emotions guide you can easily take you there, but really try to practice more compassion, less judgment, less holding things in, more openness, creativity, letting things out, um, you know, in playful ways. It doesn't have to be, I'm feeling this and you gotta hear it. You know, it doesn't have to be that, um, but, Less in your mind, more in your heart, okay? Um, okay, so then this point of awareness, this arrival at sort of a new way of seeing things, I pulled the source. And that's that's the position of this card, is sort of a an arrival, you know, to where you're kind of getting, you're um, moving to a new level or a new state of awareness. And this source card is perfect for that position because it's telling us, to trust the core of who you are, trust your soul, trust your higher power, trust your angels and guides. You know, the source of life is not in your mind. It's much bigger than that. And it's, we're much more connected than each individual, you know, way of going about things. So you may arrive at a really beautiful new level of awareness this month if you can work through some of this sort of internal roadblock stuff. And remember, keep in mind, follow what you feel. Follow what you feel. That's going to be the key for you this month, Scorpio. Okay, and then the outcome of all this, the end result is Thunderbolt. Big changes. Shedding old ways. Shedding, um, you know, old practices. The, maybe even if you have some internal talk that is self-judging. Maybe if, you, if that goes on in your mind oh, why did I say that? And I shouldn't do this. And I, maybe some of that you need to release and come to and shed it and, and try new ways of having more open-heartedness, more compassion. You have the capacity for it, Scorpio. Your feelings run so deep and you're such an intensely feeling person that I really think if you can work on some of this inner chatter and uh, release it and and still go by your personal guidance, be your total self, 
follow your feelings and um, use your imagination, have more compassion, shed the old ways of doing things. I really think you could have a beautifully successful month. This could be very transformative for you this month, Scorpio. And I hope it is. Thank you for joining me here. And um, I'm really excited that this is like my second month of the Zodiac readings. I've been doing weekly readings for a little while. And I, I just love this. So I've been reading for quite a bit, but I have never, you know, I just started my YouTube channel online recently. So I'm having fun. And I want to just thank you. I'm very grateful for you visiting me. If you can subscribe or um, share it around and, and get, you know, get some momentum going here, I might actually add readings in the future. So thank you. I will see you in June. And don't forget to check out my weekly readings posted on Mondays for a general update. Zodiac readings every month. And check out this corner right here right now. And you can click through to my website and we can talk about a more personalized reading that will directly answer any questions you might have. Okay, enjoy your May. I'll talk to you in June, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye.